is Oliver and today we are going to review Peacemaker starring John Cena. Alright guys, so the story of Peacemaker takes place right after at the end of the Suicide Squad where Peacemaker was shot in the head by Bloodsport in the ending at the end of that film of the, Su uh, of, of the Suicide Squad. And now five months later he has woken up from the hospital somehow he survived i don't know how maybe it's because john cena's invisible but uh, anyways uh, so then peacemaker uh, comes back home he he gets is recruited by a new a new squad uh, featuring some old characters from the suicide squad as well as some new characters to stop the evil organization project starfish no no i'm, I'm i mean prep project but butterfly and uh, as more episodes involve uh, he he learns to to grow a big uh, friendship as like a friends and family that peacemaker has never had because you get to know more about peacemaker's back backstory and uh, as well as more uh, secrets and clues and creepy scary stuff about project starfish no i mean Party butterfly. Jesus Christ, I'm co combining starfish and butterfly. Life is confusing sometimes. Uh, I wasn't that excited for Peacemaker, but uh, because Peacemaker, uh, he wasn't such a likable character because he killed Rick Flag, which, which got me so upset. But, uh, but uh, so it's hard to make him a likable character, but uh, they actually made him a likable character and you actually feel sorry for him in this show. So, uh, w w which is a good thing. So, good job, James Gunn. He he turns like weird and wacky characters like Polka Dot Man and Rat Catcher and Peacemaker now and in this show into likable characters. And uh, the the new uh, the newcomer in in the in the squad, uh, I don't I don't remember her name, but the black girl, she looked completely un in uninteresting going by the trailers. Um, but, but surprisingly enough, she was actually one of my favorite characters, and I was actually rooting for her. And it was a good cliffhanger at the end of episode five, and I really hope she doesn't die, or I don't think she's going to die. She's going to die, but yeah. Uh, Eagly is Peacemaker's pet uh, sidekick, who wasn't from the comics, but uh, he was made up by James Gunn because obviously James Gunn has to have uh, animal sidekicks in his projects. Baby Groot, uh, Sebastian the Rat. And now Eagly, and I like Eagly. He's uh, it's uh, it's fun that at the Eagly is his like best friend, Peacemaker, and uh, and there are some likable fun scenes with him. I, I really like Eagly. He's adorable, and it's scary how good of a CGI looks for especially for a TV show. Because when you're making a TV show, is you don't have like a big budget like like you do when you're making a movie. Eagly CGI actually looks really really good for a tv show and the relationship between peacemaker and uh, and the eagerly i like throughout the show that the way he's peacemaker is playing with him like a dog that that's that's awesome and then uh, there's also another animal remember remember at the end of the Sousa squad the Sousa squad were facing off against project starfish well they fought against uh shirley the gorilla which i don't know if it's it's gorilla grod from uh, DC supervillains, but it, it, it's not. I don't think it's Gorilla Grodd, but it's a, a similar character, and he was talking like Gorilla Grodd, and I like that. It was a really good Easter egg, and the fact that in episode four, as you got to see Charlie, Charlie the, the Gorilla in the news, then in episode five you directly saw him as uh, attacking them, and I think he was a butterfly. Yeah, he must have been. And it was an epic and awesome action scene when they were fighting against Charlie, Charlie the Gorilla. And uh, the, uh, when e Economos, uh, John Econ Economos from the Suicide Squad, uh, w w was f w uh, killed him with a chainsaw. That was, that was epic and awesome. A guy blowing people's heads off, literally in the name of peace, is better and more popular than a show about Superman and even freaking Boba Fett. That's crazy. And if you if, if if you would tell me that in the past uh, that it would be more popular and or at least a lot better than uh, the, the book of Boba Fett, which I've so far thought was just okay, it was a bit boring in my opinion. If we were, if 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 you would tell me that in the past, then I wouldn't believe you. But now here we are, 
and I love this show. John Cena is funny as Peacemaker. Funny or not funny, all of the jokes in Peacemaker John Cena says uh, does at least put a smile on your face, or at least it, the, the, they did for me. The, the, the funniest joke in Peacemaker so far is the, the joke about Aquaman. That was so funny, and I couldn't stop laughing. It it put it, it put a big smile on my face, and I and I love the intro when they're dancing. It's the best intro for a superhero show. Like Marvel, Marvel missing out on this. Peacemaker, on the, by the way, is better than all the MCU shows so far, and they're really missing out on the intro. If uh, Moon Knight comes out in two months, it, it, I swear to God, if the intro for for Moon Knight isn't uh, Moon Knight dancing, then I swear to God, I'm gonna. Batman doesn't kill people. Woof. Sorry for the cut. Let's continue. Uh, one thing I love about Peacemaker is that all the episodes are good, are as good. Because in, in the, the book, in the in the book, the book of Boba Fett, for example, some episodes are really good and some are really bad. Uh, so that's something I love about Peacemaker. Yeah, all episodes are as good. That there's no episode that's the best or or better than, or something. I think. And I love the action scenes in Peacemaker. And uh, the, the action scenes where Peacemaker and Judo Master were fighting against each other. That was so epic and awesome and very beautifully shot action scenes. And the only complaint I have Peacemaker is that the Peacemobile is mistreated. Like, come on, man. Uh, you, you barely saw him drove, uh, driving it, other than that scene, that one scene with Eagle. Uh, so uh, I think it, it was blown to pieces to at the end of the first episode. I would have wanted to see more of it. But yeah, other than that, I can't. It's hard to say any complaints with Peacemaker I didn't like, because I, I absolutely love the show. It's so good. And uh, it's the best TV show of all time in, the, in a long time. It's the, the best TV show I've ever watched since The Mandalorian. So yeah, a really good show. And uh, and the, by the time this video is, uh, by the time I'm filming this right now, episode six of Peacemaker hasn't been released yet. Uh, just to keep in mind. Uh, like I said, and uh, I think it's a good time to end this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. Smash that like button so uh, and try your best to avoid giant kaiju-like dislike button. Or I don't know, I, I should go on a date with Harley Quinn. Yeah, let's do it. J Jesus Christ, this joke about me dating Harley Quinn is weird, man. Sometimes I'm married to her, sometimes I'm just dating her. This is confusing. Anyways, bye guys.